one. All right, you guys, we are excited to be here. Thanks so much for joining us. Thank you for our time. Um, today, Alyssa and I are actually filling in for the lovely ladies who manage trauma as they are both out doing other things that requires their attention. So we're gonna be filling in and talking about Tamagotchi before we head on over into the anime side. As I'm sure you guys are all aware, Tama has done phenomenally well here, especially since we launched it in 2018 again, and we are actually now coming up on our 25th anniversary. So with that, we have designed a really fun, unique looking 25th anniversary Tamagotchi that is only available on Amazon. It is $25 to match the 25th anniversary. And look how amazing this looks. The package pops, it looks beautiful. The actual device itself is iridescent. So when you, I mean, it's not out of package. Alyssa and I were talking about the fact that it looks so great we won't even take it out of package. <laughs> but when you see it, you can actually see the inner parts of the device itself as well. So we're super excited. This is on Amazon right now currently. Again, $25 and there is limited quantities as well because it is the 25th anniversary edition. So it's very exciting for us um, coming off the cusp of Tama doing so, so phenomenally well over the past couple of years. Yeah, as Sila mentioned, in 2018, the original Tamagotchi came, we relaunched it in the U.S. Um, it's doing phenomenally well. And because of that, we wanted, when we brought it back, we did our original packaging. Mm -hmm. And it had aspects of the launch in 1998. So we just want to show you what they look like now. As you can see, there's the characters and the original branding. And then since this is a brand that's no longer just retro, it is now evergreen. Mm -hmm. We wanted to um, redo and rebrand. So we did some new branding on the packaging just to show that this is something that you can, that belongs on your shelf in 2022. So it has these vibrant colors and it's a lot of fun with the characters super large and great call outs. Mm -hmm. The characters, the colors, everything really pops. As Alyssa was saying, you know, it's no longer an evergreen, oh, I'm sorry, it's no longer like a retro brand, it is evergreen. So our audience has expanded exponentially to not just fans from, you know, 80s pop culture toys, but to kids as well and to new generations. So this is the current um, set that we have out now how cute those are. And, you know, one of the things that Tara, the brand manager of Tamagotchi loves to say is that there's so many different designs that you can literally find a design that fits and suits you for your style, for your taste, everything. And this is currently out now. And then we have these on pre-sale. Yeah, they're so cute. There's a really big uh, collectability factor to Tamagotchi. And it's really fun because everyone has a different favorite and it really gives a purpose for every design. Mm -hmm. And um, there's three designs every three months. So there's always um, new styles coming out. Perfect. Oh, there we go. And we're back. <laughs> All right. So coming off from Tama original, right? We're actually, as you guys know, in 2019, we brought out Tamagotchi On. And because of the success of Tamagotchi On, we have now brought out Tama Picks. And as the name says, you can take a picture with it. And we actually just opened this one out of the box because it's so cute. You have the color screen, you have the little character, the play pattern is very similar, right? You feed and you raise and you make sure that they feel happy and they feel loved. And then of course, when you click the top, you can actually take a photo. When we opened it out of the box today, Alyssa took a photo of me and you can kind of save it and store it away. <laughs> and we got that little, you know, intro into really uh, starting the, you know, basically opening it and starting from scratch. And it's so cute. You just have this little egg. He's got a little smile on his face right now. Um, yeah. And because Tama On has done so phenomenally well, and Tama Original has just blown the doors off, Tama Picks is doing the same exact thing. Um, and we know that kids of all ages will absolutely love it. Yeah, I think with the color device and with the touch buttons, it really lets you expand that play pattern to a whole new level. There's also something called Tama Codes. So all over social media, fans are sharing little prizes and little items within the device. But that's our feature item, mm -hmm. which lets us reach a new generation with the color screen and everything. It does let us reach younger fans. But we also have another aspect of Tamagotchi, which is our collaboration device. As you know, we had Star Wars Tamagotchi come out a couple months ago, which was R2-D2, and it was phenomenal. Um, fans across the entire fan base loved it, and it's because you get to train your own little R2-D2 to a bunch of different style sets. 
and we wanted to expand our collaboration with Disney and to reach Pixar. So now, mm -hmm. as you can see, we have Toy Story Tamagotchi. And these are just so cute. Yeah, so this shell right here is really, it's kind of hard to see, but it's uh, Andy's wallpaper from his room, which is very iconic to Toy Story. And then the second skew is the white skew, which just shows a lot of like icons from all of the movies, whether it's Woody's hat or the alien eyes. Um, so a lot of great things are on there and the packaging is great. But one thing I wanted to call out really quick about Toy Story Tamagotchi that's so fun is R2-D2. You're training R2-D2 to a bunch of style sets. But in this one, it's across all of the, the entire franchise, all of the movies. So you're get to, getting to train 17 toys. So you mm -hmm. see Woody and then you see Bonnie's toys. So not only are you just playing with Woody or Buzz, but you get to get to experience the fun with all 17. You do, you get Mr. Prickle Pants, you get Forky, you but get all of the characters that we love. And the great thing that I personally love about this the most is that if you don't take care of them, then they get thrown <laughs> back into Andy's toy box. Mm -hmm. And then you gotta take them out, you gotta take care of them and make sure they don't get thrown back into Andy's toy box. So we're super excited to bring Toy Story to the collaborations side of Tama coming, as Alyssa said, off the cusp of Star Wars doing so well, we know that this is going to hit that next generation of fans mm -hmm. because, I mean, I'm an adult and I love Toy Story. I really watch Toy Story all the time, right? And then we know that generationally, all of the Disney and all of the Pixar uh, brands out there that we bring through collaborations, even the, the Japan side of the collaborations that we do have such a fan base. And we're so excited to continue that because of the success of original Tama. Mm -hmm. Before we move on from Tama, does anybody have any questions? Cause we're about to step into the wide range of anime land. <laughs> if not, don't worry about it. You can ask questions at the end after our pals over at Bluefin uh, do their side, or you can feel free to send any comments or questions over to Cass and we will happily have Tara or <laughs> Trish respond to you guys. <laughs> Perfect, we're gonna bring up anime. So outside of Tama, one of the things that Bandai does best is anime and one of the things that has done phenomenally well we have to expand our whole line over here so you guys can actually truly see the expansiveness of this is our blind bags so when people were going into the store they were COVID shopping and they were shopping for blind bags <laughs> <laughs> this product did so well on the store shelf and during COVID it was ridiculous and because of the success of it we've actually decided that we're going to bring it back and what this is, is this kind of looks like, you know, if you were in Japan, they have these things called Gashapon machines. And that is, you know, a part of the Bandai business, right? And you go in and you put a token and you get this really cool ball that comes out and it has an action figure or a toy in it. So we took that concept and we turned it into our anime blind bags. And we have titles. We started out with like My Hero Academia, and then we're transitioning over to Dragon Ball and adding in Jujutsu Kaisen. And we have Naruto. So as you can see, we have the most popular titles, the most well-known titles. And because literally these guys go on the shelves and then they're sold out almost instantly, <laughs> the detail of the figures look amazing and they're only $7.99. So if you are an anime fan or you know a kid who is an anime fan, or even if you just want something, I mean, like these are at my desk, you know, I know people have them in their cars, you can turn them into cute little keychains. I mean, the detail of these characters are insane. And this is of course, All Might for My Hero one of my personal favorite characters. And then we have Dragon Ball, we have Goku over here. And I mean, oh, I'm gonna bring him closer so you can just see that detail. <laughs> For $7.99, I mean, you can't really go wrong with that detail, especially if you're an anime fan. And the great thing about the blind bags is that there's a little piece of cardboard that comes in it. So you actually can't pick and choose what you want by feeling around. You do have to truly get that blind bag experience. And when you purchase it, it's almost pretty much guaranteed that you're going to get a new figure every single time, which is really exciting. And you can just collect all of them. And as we roll this out, the ideal and the whole goal is to have this be on the shelf. So when you walk into the store, you would see all of these lovely blind bag packages here showcasing all of your favorite animes and this really, you know, artfully crafted actually um, figures right here on the store. Just, I mean, the love of anime is there. <laughs> it really is. And this is kind of teeing us off into all of our other anime brands. Because as I mentioned in the beginning, one of the things that Bandai specializes in the best is anime. And we love to bring anime to our fans and anime to the market. So I'm gonna go ahead and move these out first before we go ahead and start talking about Dragon Ball. 
I know, as I'm sure you guys may be aware, Dragon Ball is just coming off of the announcement of the Dragon Ball movie. So it's been a couple of years since Dragon Ball content has come out. So we're all very excited for this. Uh, I can tell you guys that we will have some characters and, and some Dragon Ball movie things coming out when that launches here in the US. I can't share what those figures are because those are under embargo, but we're very excited because there's a lot of new figures coming. What I will share with you now is the amazing figures that we just brought out for our Dragon Star 6.5 inch line and for our power up pack. So these figures are on the Tenkaichi Budokai stage or stadium, however you want to say that. Um, and this is one of the most iconic locations in the Dragon Ball universe. What we have here is we have Vegeta and he is Vegeta from Dragon Ball Kai version. So he comes with his classic armor and his scouter. We will be bringing out his you know, compadre in the next couple of months, next month or so actually on pre-sale. So Napa is coming. We're very excited for that because if you get Vegeta, you know, you got to get Napa, especially because they have the same armor. And then we just previously launched Goku Rose in our Power Up pack. The great thing that we love about the Power Up pack is that if you're a Dragon Ball fan, right, and you have the six inch, you have this six inch and you have this six inch, but what comes with the Power Up pack is all of the additional accessories. So you actually have the Power Up aura in the back and you have the Power Aura in the front, right, where his actual attack is and the scythe. So it really allows you as an adult fan or as a kid fan to really stage and play with your Dragon Ball figures as much as you want to recreate the show, um, which is very exciting because we all know and love how much you can do with your anime figures. And there's tons more to come for Dragon Ball. We do have some new five inch figures coming for the movie as well. Uh, and outside of the five inch movie figures, we do have some additional figures too. And I know that Cash shared with you guys a little sneak peek of the fact that we will be having Frieza first form and Beerus coming out for Dragon Stars as well. And let me tell you guys, when Beerus comes out, the fans are going to be running to the stores because we brought him out a couple months ago for a very limited quantity and he sold out almost immediately. So we're very excited to bring him back because he is one of the most iconic characters as well. So going from one of the largest anime franchises in the world, most well-known being Dragon Ball, to one of the other most well-known large anime franchises, Naruto. We are so excited that Naruto is a part of our anime heroes lineup. We have some amazing figures coming out this year, which you guys are going to be super excited for because they are some powered up versions of some of your favorite characters. What I'm sharing with you now is two of the figures that just came out. You have Naruto Sage of Six Pass Mode. He's actually one of my favorite characters because I mean, hey, just look at him. He looks absolutely beautiful. And I know you shouldn't say that about a guy, but he does. I mean, his outfit, the colors, he comes with his Scream of Fighting Six. And then we have our first female in the line who is Sakura. She was a fan request. So if you guys didn't know, now you know Bandai does pay attention and listen to fans and we bring things out that our fans do request. She has done really well in pre-sale and in store. She is the first female to the Anime Heroes lineup, but she is not the last. A little sneak peek here, we will be launching three brand new Anime Heroes IPs this year. And one of them has an iconic female figure in there as well that we will be bringing out. I can give you a couple little hints, right? So one of the IPs that we're bringing out for Anime Heroes is a show that recently, in the past couple of years, won an Anime of the Year award um, and is going to have a new season coming out, has done phenomenally well. Everybody knows is arguably one of the most talked about shows that's out. And then we have another one, which is actually hasn't had a new series in a while, and it's coming back on the cusp of its anniversary. So we are very excited to bring it into Anime Heroes, because once you find out what it is, you're going to say that makes so much sense. I can't believe you guys didn't have it already. And then we have a third one, which is literally like back in the 80s, if you were a Pokemon fan or if you weren't a Pokemon fan, you were a this fan. So we're very excited to bring that one out because we know that the nostalgia is going to be there. And if it is for kids, they are going to love it because they look so phenomenal in package. So we're very excited for that. Um, and outside of the new IPs in Naruto that we have for Anime Heroes, we do have One Piece, right? So we started with Naruto and Saint Seiya. 
And we brought One Piece in because, I mean, One Piece is One Piece. It is arguably one of the most talked about and well-known animes out there. There is over 950 episodes of this anime streaming and available. And the fandom is huge. Let me tell you guys, huge, huge, huge. It is going to be a Netflix live action show that we're very excited for. You all know what happens when Netflix gets involved with anime. It becomes a big thing. And what we're going to show you now is the figures that we have out. So we do. We have Ace right here. He is one of the most recent characters that we brought out. Arguably one of the most iconic characters in One Piece outside of Luffy himself. And then we have Shanks. And I mean, you know, when you look at an action figure that's got one arm and still looks, you know, as badass as this guy does, you can't really go wrong. And you know that Bandai really brings it when we come to anime action figures. This guy right here is Trafalgar Law. So this is a little sneak peek for you guys. He is not out on pre-sale yet, and he is not out in stores yet, but we will be pre-selling him very soon. We're really excited for him because, I mean, even if you go down to the details of the knuckles, he has those tattoos. His outfit, his, <laughs> thank you, Alyssa, his accessories, everything he's got is an exact replica from the show. And I don't want to belabor this fact, but one of the things that Bandai does really do best is recreating your favorite characters from shows and turning them into action figures and making them almost the exact same image. So we're very excited for that. Moving from Anime Land, one of the other most recent exciting things that has been announced is the new season of Stranger Things, you guys. Very exciting news here. As you know, we do have a Stranger Things line. I can tell you that we're going to have some really, really crazy looking monsters and some new characters that are coming out with the launch of season four of Stranger Things. So that's really exciting. Right now, what we have that I can show you is actually this amazing 11 inch Demi Gorgon. I mean, if this guy doesn't scare you and remind you of the show and make you wanna watch that, binge watch the show again before the new season comes out, I don't know what will. And he is to scale. So this is 11, the six, the six inch figure, and she is standing to scale with the 11 inch Demi Gorgon. So if you could imagine being in that universe and this is the thing that's coming after you, that's just absolutely crazy. And then of course, if an 11 inch Demogorgon is enough for you, we have a glow in the dark. <laughs> so if this doesn't scare you at night, then you got a glow in the dark version of a Demogorgon who will scare you at night. And then of course we have our phenomenally looking 6.5 inch action figures and the packaging just looks ridiculous, right? You have that homage to the Demogorgon face around the figures, the back. I mean, it's just so crisp and so clean. We're very excited for season four. I'm really excited for all of the new stuff that you guys are going to go crazy over when it comes out. So the last thing I'm going to show you, because we've gone through so much now, <laughs> is Digimon. Um, remember when I made that comment about one of the IPs that we have coming out that was a classic from the 80s? Uh, one of those that was a classic from the 80s is Digimon. Now, Digimon, you know, is really one of the first things that came from an actual device that spawned a TV show and, you know, they kind of worked hand in hand with each other. Digimon device has been beloved by a rabid fan base. If you go onto YouTube, there will be hundreds of thousands of views and videos of how to raise and train and battle your Digimon devices. We are actually on pre-sale for wave two right now, which is very exciting. These are the colors from wave two for Digimon X. Ooh. <laughs> There we go. I know, as you guys can see, we don't got a lot of hands here due to some of our teammates being gone, but we're making it work. Um, Digimon X has done phenomenally well. And as I mentioned, the fan base out there for Digimon X is so big. They keep on making more requests, different versions, and we're trying as hard as we can to, you know, hang on to all of the requests and to make sure that we're bringing out the Digimon devices that fans know and love and introducing the Digimon devices to new fans. Cause we did some research and we actually found out that like 50% of the people who are purchasing devices are kids and are younger and 50% of them are females. So we now know that females love to have a digital pet that you can battle and train, which is super exciting. I have one myself, it's really fun to play with. Uh, and that kind of rounds out what we have here on the Bandai America side. Before we head on over to Bluefin, 
please feel free to ask any questions if you guys have them, any comments, anything like that. If not, I'm going to pass it over to our friends over at Bluefin. They're going to take you through some of those amazing, amazing detailed action figures that they have over there. I know they're getting ready. They're getting pumped. <laughs> <laughs> David. Um, so I'm going to pass it over to you guys. And then if you do have questions, write them down. You can ask us after or feel free to send those over via email. Over to you guys. We're blank. I don't see nothing. She hasn't changed us. <laughs> Change us, Cass. You're good. We'll see ourselves. You. There we go. Hey, everybody. Uh, sorry for the technical glitch. Welcome to the Bluefin Power Station. I'm David. This is Justin. We are the Ivan Drago and Ooh. the Clubber Lang of Bandai Namco Ooh, Collectibles. I like, that. I like that. We are here to show you all of our amazing stuff we have from the anime genre. Like Bandai America was telling us, uh, anime is so hot right now. It is doing incredible. It is a tss type type hot action. We, uh, we wanted to show you uh, kind of Demon Slayer, which is kind of the new hotness in anime right now. So, Justin, why don't you start on this end? I'll start on this end, and then we'll... Just mosey on through. Sure. So as David mentioned, uh, Demon Slayer is the new hotness. Uh, season two just wrapped up with the Entertainment District arc, and we are prepared to provide folks with all sorts of Demon Slayer merchandise, uh, sort of from the casual side of things. We have, of course, our uh, paper theater, which is great for, for all you craftsmen out there that like to, to cut and paste and have a good time. You get these amazing 3D art images with the paper theater. It's fantastic. Uh, moving right along, we also have these tippies, which are like the little weeble wobbles. You just can't knock them over no matter how hard you try. Uh, these will be out uh, shortly, I believe in the summer, about $4 each. Some would say you're just not trying hard enough to knock them over. Yeah, it's the old college try, right? Which is code for just quitter. <laughs> and then you have, of course, the uh, Demon Slayer Twinkle Dolly uh, and the uh, mascots. These are great if you want to attach them to your person or your backpack and just kind of dangle them along uh, to represent your favorite characters. Uh, moving on, we have uh, Mega House. We have Demon Slayer Chokerin. Uh, these are $10 each, and they are in blind packs, so you don't know which one you're going to get, so you're going to want to collect them all. Uh, these will actually be available in the fall. Uh, very much looking forward to these adorable little guys. Uh, when you just you know, don't want to spend buku bucks on a whole lot of... Um, on, Demon Slayer merchandise, you just want to keep it cool, keep it casual, and have a little fun display on your desk or shelf. Uh, that works for both the Chokerin as well as the Shokugan items. Of course, we have the, the Adverge Motion. These are fantastic. They have little pegs uh, to, to pose the little figure on the display base, and you can just have them rocking and rolling on your desk or shelf. And uh, lastly, we have these, actually not lastly, we have new puzzles. These weren't here. Last week, I don't believe. Don't you curveball. <laughs> yeah, look at that. We have little uh, Demon Slayer puzzles. That's exciting stuff. Uh, these uh, represent uh, posters and your favorite characters from Demon Slayer. They're a lot of fun and uh, fun to put together. And then lastly, we have uh, Nano Block. You can see Tanjiro done in this amazing little micro block form. We will get into more on Nano Block. We have a lot to discuss with Nano Block. It's an amazing new uh, product that we've started carrying at the beginning of 2021. And uh, we are eager little beavers to talk more about it. But in the meantime, I will hand it on over to you, Dave. Thank you, Justin. Kind of keeping in the nature of the casual lines that Justin was just showing off. Uh, on the front from Tamashii Nations, we have the figure arts minis. Uh, you can see we have Rangoku kind of out of the package if you want to see what it looks like. Uh, these are really cool. They come with optional uh, effect, like hand parts. Arms, I guess you would say. Sure. I guess that's what humans call them. Yeah. <laughs> I am not a robot. And an accessory. And, yeah, and an accessory. So uh, they're really great if you just want something cute and cuddly to put on your desk uh, to represent your fandom for Demon Slayer. Uh, like most of Monster Nation's things, they do have a wide range of IPs. Uh, we're showing you Demon Slayer, but they have Sailor Moon, Evangelion, Dragon Ball. Uh, actually, no, not Dragon Ball. <laughs> so many other IPs. Jujutsu Kaisen. Jujutsu Kaisen. Uh, moving over to the side, we have our Ichiban Show statue of Tanjiro here. Uh, Ichiban Show is a fixed posed figure. Uh, it's it's great. Uh, the animation it comes straight from the animation. It's got some great shading. It's got a great pose. Uh, it's perfect for people who want action figures on their display cases without actually having to pose them because posing is hard. People don't be a poser. I think they teach classes on how to pose. They do actually on the Bandai Spirits YouTube page. <laughs> they actually have a, a class now on posing your figures. It's a whole thing for toy photography. Uh, over on the far side here, we have our figure at zero, also from Tamashi Nations, uh, similar to Ichiban Show. Their fixed pose figures. Uh, but these are more high end. They have these amazing, you know, effect parts. You can see Nezuko and Tanjiro have these really great translucent pink and red effect parts. Uh, they're real great if you collect the whole line because they'll make a, a fun little scene of everyone kind of interacting with each other. And like the minis, they have a ton of different uh, entries in the figure at Zero's Dragon Ball, Sailor Moon, all of those. 
But the piece de resistance up at the top are these Proplica swords, the Nichiren swords from, from Demon Slayer. Uh, we have Rengoku, we have Tanjiro, and we have Zenitsu. These are the three that are currently available. Uh, they've already announced so many other ones, uh, including Inasuke. Uh, so much fun. You can see the detail on the blade is, is, is so, so crisp. Uh, you have lightning effects, the flame effects. Uh, they do make sounds. They make uh, voices from the anime. They play music from the anime, and they do sound effects. And they are so much fun. This one even makes a sheathing sound. Yeah. And they are great for poking people. Oh, yeah. Poke, poke, <laughs> poke. Then and uh, mm-hmm. and yeah. So that is, uh, that's that's our Demon Slayer presentation. Uh, we're going to do a little Hollywood hocus pocus. We're going to move some stuff off the table. We're going to bring up Nanoblocks. So, sure. Justin, why don't you tell us about Nanoblocks sure. while we move? Uh, real quick, just uh, as David mentioned, the, the swords are uh, rocking and rolling as far as uh, releases. There are three more on the way. The figure are at zero. There are actually 13 of them in the line. And the minis, there's, there's uh, over 20, I believe, now. So... Uh, you can collect all your favorite characters. Let me go ahead and hand you those, AJ. That guy. Banana block. These are new for us. I don't know where the camera's at. Right now we have uh, Space Invaders Arcade Machine. I got a Pac-Man right here. These are the original micro-sized building block. They are about uh, four millimeters tall, and uh, they offer a greater sophistication and challenge than any other building block system around. And, uh, in fact, we even have little tweezers because these things are so itty-bitty. Let me get those for you. And uh, uh, Nanoblocks does a great job of, you know, representing that 8-bit look, you know, that's so prevalent in, uh, you know, the retro games of our past, even though I guess some people know retro games is like PlayStation 3. I know, even the first, yeah, exactly. Ooh. I was going to say, yeah, you know, 3 is not too bad, because even PlayStation 2 is in 2000, for crying yeah, out loud, so, 20 years ago. Yeah, so you can see Kirby, you can see he looks like he just came right out of the video game. Uh, you know, they're, just to mention, they're 4 millimeter little blocks, uh, and they are a ton of fun, even if you have big monster hands like these. They're right. still fun. So what's important to note is that we have different sizes for now. Nano block. Uh, these are mini nanos, the ones that you see up here, the, the Kirby. These are actually uh, available in blind packaging. They're only $6 each, but you get to collect them all. They're fantastic. Um, and then we have more mini nanos. There's Pokemon mini nanos as well. Uh, and you can see just next to a traditional size nano block piece, the mini nanos have under 100 pieces, whereas the uh, regular Pokemon nano block sets have upwards of 130 to 220 pieces. So you can see it's the same character. One just offers a little bit more pieces. And yeah, a challenge. and it's incredible the detail they can get. I mean, here's Blastoise. He's a very intricate Pokemon with his water cannons and stuff on the back. Uh, but he is beautifully represented in the uh, the, nino, the, the Nanoblock nino. mini line. Uh, but he also comes in the standard size, like you see with like the Pikachu and the Eevee back there. Uh, so it's just so much fun to see how just little building blocks turn into these things. You know, these are some real geniuses making these. And we're excited to reveal that we have this awesome partnership with Capcom and they are releasing Mega Man nano blocks. How cool is that? You got Mega Man, you got Cut Man, you got the energy tank. It's uh, there's, there's some really cool stuff. Uh, this is brand new. We just announced this last week. Yep. Uh, so uh, I know people are very excited about that. Mega Man is one of those classic games that just kind of sticks with you. And people will be able to pre-order these starting this week. Well, yeah, that's soon. That's exciting stuff. But uh, it's not just about the uh, characters. Nanoblock does have a lot of licenses. Uh, they're they're really big in Japan, and we're making as many available as possible out here in the West. Uh, but when it comes to Nanoblocks, there are several different types of categories. Uh, there are animals, like you see this amazing little uh, chameleon. Uh, then there's also like pandas and sea animals, or whales, sharks, seahorses. Um, then you have like elephants, giraffes, what have you. We even have like birds and dragons. And what's cool about the anything that flies They tend to have some posability with the wings as well as the mouth, which is fantastic. Yeah, I think one of the big alerts of Nanoblocks is just the, you know, the vast amount of IPs they're getting. uh, And it's growing every single day. You know, we just added Mega Man. There are other IPs that we would love to add that are out in Japan. Super Robot for crying out loud. Yeah, Mazinger. You got your Mazinger here. And then we also have uh, My Hero Academia. It's another license that's good. And uh, so these are the char nanos. And what's cool about these is in the box, you can actually take this insert out and you can store it in the box with the, uh, the clear protective screen. So uh, it'll be secure in, your, in its little plastic computer. Yeah, it's a little case. Yeah, keep and, it safe. Right, exactly. And then those of you that are up for uh, a bigger challenge, we also have uh, historical landmarks, of course, the Statue of Liberty, got some castles, you got Notre Dame. Uh, this is from like the, the hobby series. So these ones have a lot more pieces and a greater challenge. You can see that this ship here actually has my goodness, uh, 2,500 <laughs> pieces. Look at how big this thing is. That is a weekend if I ever heard of it. Yeah, that's a long one. So like where I was binging Ozark all weekend, I could have built a ship. 
Yeah. <laughs> we light a fire in the fireplace, you know, set up a card table, you know, put on your Ozark and yeah. you can watch this go to fun. Something peaceful. To yeah, have something the relaxing. <laughs> Ozark, maybe some Breaking Bad. Yeah. Uh, what's cool about the uh, the historical landmarks is, you know, that we're hopefully able to start going places again. You know, this would be a cool little gift to give someone like, hey, you're going to go to Paris and, you know, give them this as a gift as like the hint. Yeah. No, that's, that's great. I was someone that's been to Paris. The Notre Dame was like one of my favorite things ever to exist. And uh, I would actually love to build one of these. Just kind of remember it. Or if you're going to make them walk the plank because you're tired of them, you'll get them the shit. Yeah. And once they're done building it, then, uh, sorry. Oh, there's a ladder on the side of the ship. Why don't they just climb back up the ladder? I don't know. I, I saw plank. a movie once where <laughs> they couldn't get up the ladder. They got stuck off their yacht and right. uh, they couldn't get up. It was very sad. My goodness. All right. So that's Nanoblock. Uh, again, if you have any questions, we're happy to answer them at the end of the presentation. Moving right along to Kirby. Dave, you like Kirby? I love Kirby. Uh, again, we have some more paper theater from NSKY uh, just to kind of show you the range of the line. Uh, we showed you the Demon Slayer, but there's also a lot for Studio Ghibli, which we'll show in a little bit. Uh, but here's Kirby. You can see they come in different sizes, this little uh, King DDD roller coaster. Uh, and you can see from the side, it doesn't look like a whole lot of action, but you know it is a, quite the bang for your buck. Uh, anyone who loves putting puzzles together will have a delight of cutting these out, gluing them on. Uh, and at the end, you have this amazing like 3D screen that people are going to be like, hey, how'd you do that? You a wizard? It's magic. Yeah. And best of all, uh, you know, since it is paper, it comes in a very thin package. So it'd be perfect as a gift if you wanted to add something in, into a, the Kirby fan's life of yours. Uh, if you could give them something and then put this in as like a little added bonus. What? I like bonuses. Yeah, I know you do. And you <laughs> like playground equipment too. I do. Look at those little dioramas. They're fantastic. The little acrylics. Can set up your own little Kirby amusement park. Yeah, and like like the paper theater, they're also very thin, as you can see. Uh, like I said, perfect to uh, to put in a stocking or put in uh, put in someone's gift bag for their birthday. And you can see Justin's trying to stack these Kirby's because I, I found a life hack right here. I see you put someone under the star. They could make a little sandwich. <laughs> do, do the ones under the star count? They do. Why not? So yeah, these are the stackable Kirby's uh, from Shokugan. Uh, on the side of the package, it shows them stacking all 10 of them on top of each other. Uh, we call shenanigans. Uh, we haven't been able to do it. I think Justin's record is five. Yeah. My record is two. It was a soft five. <laughs> it was a soft five. It went quick. Um, actually, you're doing really good. You got one right. more left? I do. Just put on the side. We're going to count it. Hey, <laughs> hoppa. Good job. Yay, I, I was playing that out in the car ride over here. I'm like, I got this. I'm glad I can that, do I'm, this. I'm glad that it worked for you. <laughs> Uh, in addition to the paper theater, N Sky also makes these amazing puzzles. Uh, they make both the acrylic art, art crystal puzzles and you know, more traditional paper puzzles. Uh, these are incredibly high quality, and uh, the artwork is next to none. Uh, we're going to show you some of the uh, the art crystal puzzles in a little bit later from the Ghibli line, but uh, just wanted to give you a gander at the uh, the old Kirby line. Yeah, I like puzzles. I don't want to touch that though. It's fine. Here, I'll I'll, I'll ruin it for you so you don't have to go <laughs> in. I I do feel better. I preach. I like how they roll. They, they all roll oh, really that was nice. pretty cool. I wasn't yeah. expecting that. Yeah. We also have our Kirby buddies and Kirby friends. Yeah. For all yeah. you Smash Brothers fans who like to eat other players and take their powers, you got Link right in the front. Uh, you got a sleepy one. You got sleepy Kirby. It's 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 night night for him. You got floaty one. Floaty Kirby. You got tomato Kirby. You got Kirby with a Peach parasol. Yeah. Yeah. The Kirby, whole collection. Kirby mooching off of Carolot right there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and these are sold individually, uh, and the, you will know what you're getting from the box. So Correct. They're not, they're not blind items. So They are not blind. So, so don't can... worry if you're looking for one specific one. Uh, you can pick and choose which ones you get. Do you have a technique for blind packaging? Do you shake them? Do you no. lick them? What, how do you know which ones? Which I, 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 I'm a firm believer in that any scenario where you think you can pick what's in the blind box is never correct. Oh, man. If there's like heavy ones. Sometimes if there are heavy, heavy ones, ones, but usually they're not heavy bikes. Yeah, heavy bikes, uh, heavy bikes. Uh, up next is going to be our Studio Ghibli line. Uh, we are the North American distributor for Studio Ghibli for their official merchandise. Justin's got a cute little towel here. He's going to pop out. Look at that. Yeah, it's even got its own little carrying case. Whoa. You like, uh, like, so, like you're surrendering. <laughs> or if I'm challenging you to a duel. <laughs> I do declare. <laughs> uh, you know, he's got Totoro. We got Gigi here. Uh, we have a great uh, temperature uh, color changing mug. Uh, you see the suit sprites when you put hot water in, uh, they change and it is adorable. Uh, Studio Ghibli has a very, very fun range of products, you know, from you can see the little clocks in the front who have accurate time. You know, we have the Gigi clock and we have the robot clock uh, all the way through figures. Justin has a puzzle there. Oh, yeah. Here. Tell us about the puzzle, and this, and this is your uh, your amazing uh what do you call it the art crystal the puzzle. Art crystal puzzle there you go thank you it's drawing a blank uh but this is as dave was talking about uh, it's like having a stained glass window uh you can hold it up to light and have it come out from behind uh so when you are displaying it keep that in mind the art comes or the it really shines when you have a backlight 
Yeah, so as you're shopping for your puzzles and your figures and your towels and all that, you can also get a frying pan what? because why not? This is a calcifer from House Moving Castle. Uh, it is a fun frying pan. It's got the indentation. You can definitely see it. Make uh, make your pancakes and eggs happy in the morning. Yeah, I like the sound of that. Mine are usually pretty boring and burnt. Sad. <laughs> I like burnt things though. <laughs> I'm weird. You like you like you like stuff cooked to death. I do. I do. <laughs> I just want to make sure it's it's ready to go. And look at these amazing collectible figures. Yeah, you got Totoro, you got Gigi from Kiki's Delivery Service. Yeah. Uh, in the similar vein of those those cool stacking things we saw from Kirby. Um, you know, you got all the different Totoros. And yeah. And like everything Studio Ghibli, it's got a nature theme to it. So he's got some leaves, some mushrooms. He's got a bug problem. Look at all these holes in the leaves. Yeah. Well, what can you do? Uh, spray. <laughs> call, in nature? Call a bug guy. <laughs> call the bug guy. Go ahead and spray these woods for us real yeah. quick. We got we got an infestation. We got, we got a bit of a problem here. And someone dust. There's soot sprites everywhere. Speaking Canada. of dust, we got the heen. Uh, oh, I like to play with Steven there. Oh, dit, dit, dit. Uh, it's perfect for if you have a dirty desk or a dirty uh, co-host. You just give them a wipe, wipe, wipe. I am clean. I mean, this is I've seen this shirt a lot lately. I don't know it's, if it's been it's washed. It's on a little hanger right there. This so uh, wardrobe change. Hello. Yeah, you got to keep your desk clean. Might as well do it in style. And I think that is it for Did studios. I didn't. A little saucepan. A little saucepan. Yeah. Put oh, a little sake little in there. Little wasabi maybe? or whatever. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I mean, Ghibli, Ghibli has uh, chopsticks too, which is kind of cool. So. Oh, and we forgot about one of the most important pieces ever, this sort of nap, nap afternoon nap cushion. <laughs> These are great. Look at how adorable this is. This thing is huge. It is monstrous. It dwarfs you, Dave. And this is fabulous for uh, your, we have, so Sean, uh, our amazing br uh, brand manager over upstairs, he uses this every single day for the comfort of his little back. Well, now that I know it's called like a nap mat, now I know why he uses it. Right. I, I thought it was the, just for comfort. No, it's adorable. And these are available now. Uh, but they are so popular to sell out quickly, but we will have a restock in the fall. So very excited about that. Yeah, stay tuned. Yeah, who doesn't want an adorable Totoro to cuddle up with? Man. I'm afraid of Totoros. No, they're it's friendly. A, I don't like things that are bigger than me. <laughs> Uh, next, we got Shogugan. We have the Gundam Artifact. Uh, this is, I believe, wave one, but there is a second wave that is going to be hitting soon. Uh, these are great little uh, mini models that you put together. Uh, they come in, you can see they're like the tan. Uh, so they're meant for, you know, you can either have them like that or if you want to uh, paint Damn. them and customize them. Uh, we recently had a contest for it to see who could do the best version, and we were amazed by some of the creativity from some of the people that put these together. Uh, you can see that they are labeled as which one they are. You know, we got the Rick Diaz. Uh, we have the Easy Six, and uh, we have the custom over here. So uh, they are very cool. Yeah. And you have G Frame. Yeah, and G Frame are great. Uh, these are fully articulated uh, Gundams. These mobile suits are incredible. Uh, you, there's some assembly required. Uh, what's great about these is that they actually come with a static frame as well as an articulated frame. So you can pick and choose how you wish to display it. Uh, some assembly is required. They do usually have uh, some fun weapons and accessories uh, to spruce that goose up a little bit. Yeah, and they're great. They're articulated. Uh, you know, they're perfect for someone who loves to put gunplay together but wants something smaller to put on their desk. You know, maybe they don't want to put their perfect grade or their master grade uh, on their desk, but they just want a Zaku or a Sazabi or something on their desk. Or if they want to get someone into the hobby, it's a great, great yeah. way outside of intro grade kits to uh, get people into the hobby of building gunpla. My goodness, look at this. Or gumpala. So you're, you're a fan of maces. I am look a fan that. of maces. The, 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 the landscape of science fiction and fantasy and all that is full of swords and beam weapons and even blasters if you're, if you're going sci-fi. But, you know, a nice mace. That'll really do it for you, huh? Does it for me like a, like the Barbados, you know, Lupus Rex or something like that? Lupus, just really really beating someone up. So these are the <laughs> these are the Converge or uh, Converge, as just some say. Uh, they are not blind packed, as you can see. You see exactly what you're going to get on this box. Uh, we're on twenty something as far as Converge goes. So if you have a mobile suit that you love, uh, more than likely it has it's been, made. been made. Yeah, or it's in the process of being made. Yeah, yeah. and so this is just something great. Uh, there is some small assembly required. Uh, the the unit itself will come pre-assembled. Uh, but usually the accessories you'll have to add on like the jetpack or the sword effects or the mace in this account and they have a fun little display base keep them keep them steady yeah you can have your cubicle a whole row of these there you go which we've seen no no end in sight oh my god aj's dropping the jujitsu kaisen yeah it's cursed items man they'll do it every time sakuna sakuna, <laughs> sakuna. yeah sakuna matata as it were what a wonderful face <laughs> 
<laughs> and we also have Jujutsu Kaisen, like Demon Slayer. It's one of the new hotnesses that's out there. Uh, it's even streaming on HBO for crying out loud. So uh, that's very exciting stuff. And uh, I'm a I'm a fan of Jujutsu Kaisen. I know Steven who's operating the camera right now. He is too. And the very idea that we're able to get figures so quickly for this series is amazing. Uh, of course, Tomashi has like their SH figure arts as well as uh, figure at zero. But right here, we have these uh, amazing uh, average motion figures, which are just like those um, Demon Slayer ones you saw before. They're small. They fit on your desk or shelf without crowding too much. They have this little tiny peg and you can rock and roll with all your favorite characters. Set up a fight scene. Yeah. And they are available individually or as a complete set. Pretty great. Love it. Yeah, I want some more of it. And you got, got a movie animal, coming out. You got your Animal Crossing. Oh, yeah, your favorite with the fuzzies. With you the like, flock. You like the fuzzies. It's, it's flock. Uh, yeah, just adds a whole nother, like, dynamic to it. You know, having, you know, kind of like that, that light fuzz on there. Uh, you know, obviously plastic is is awesome. It's, you know, it's our bread and butter. But uh, the flock, <laughs> the flocking, sure. the flocking, whatever word we're using, uh, just adds something new to it. it. It just gives it more character life. And, uh, you know, my farm is in just shambles right now. It's been taken over by like Somali pirates, probably. Yeah, look so. at me. I am the captain <laughs> yeah, now. This is my island now. <laughs> yeah, 100%. No, Animal Crossing is a lot of fun. Uh, I know a lot of people in this room play, and some of us uh, have neglected our poor little island, and uh, I feel bad about that. Yeah, it's definitely just, a Lord of the Flies situation. Yeah. <laughs> This is just blame COVID for that yeah. one. Yeah. The natives have taken over. You would think the COVID would uh, allow me to play more, but no. I know. It's it's crazy. But Animal Crossing has uh, become quite the mainstay for Nintendo fans. Um, we are very excited about it, and there's more on the way from Animal Crossing. And now, for all you cat lovers out there, I thought we had one of these out and about, but I guess I'm a liar. If you love cats, and you love Naruto, and you love small, adorable little things. You have Naruto with these amazing little kitties, and they're adorable, and I love them. And these are actually blind packages. So yeah, these so ones you, you don't know what you're going to get. Yeah, you buy a box, your friend buys a box, and you guys trade with each other. It's like baseball cards, like garbage pail cards for those cool kids. Yeah. So. They're fantastic. Uh, they've actually have multiple lines and uh, as well as other properties. We have One Piece. We have Sailor Moon and uh, new Naruto on the way. AJ didn't trust us to remember all that, so he wrote it down for us. That's why he is the best. <laughs> no, they're fantastic. And uh, I mean, these were just announced and they're already selling like hotcakes. So, Yeah, and uh, that is everything we have to show you guys today. We tried to leave a little bit of room at the end for questions if you have any. Uh, you know, anime is super hot right now. You know, we go to tons of trade shows and what we're seeing is that anime has such a mainstream appeal right now, especially with, you know, all the different streaming options. Uh, and all the things coming to mainstream streaming like Netflix and Disney Plus and Peacock. Yeah. And HBO. And HBO for kind of that idea. Um, yeah. So that is it from the Bandai Power Station. Uh, any questions? Silence. We did such a good job explaining. You got nothing. I have no follow up questions for you guys. Or they're all really shy. <laughs> We'll send through the recap videos and, of course, the first kit links. And if anything comes to mind after you review it or reach out to me, we can connect you with any one of the brand managers. But thank you so much for your time, everybody. We really, really appreciate it. We wish you a fantastic Wednesday, and we'll be in touch. Thank you, guys. Bye, everybody.